So I'm uh, Dr. David Olsner, I'm a gastroenterologist. I've uh, been in practice since 1997. Uh, moved here to Utah in 2006 and I've been with Granger Clinic ever since then. Uh, a lot of patients come in with uh, symptoms that are consistent with food intolerances and are often unrecognized Lactose intolerance um, could be fructose intolerance or even uh, gluten intolerance. So the symptoms uh, most commonly, bloating is a very common symptom that people have. Um, abdominal pain, cramping, so often can have loose stool or change in bowel movements. That is probably the most common symptoms. It's they're very non-specific. That can be for irritable bowel, can be other um, for other conditions. But for lactose and fructose, at least those are probably the most common symptoms that people experience. I generally, I think it works better to have the patients cut it out of their diet. Um, all they have to do is um, cut it out for seven to 10 days, but it has to be a total um, exclusion of that food type. So I'll have them to try to help narrow down what the problem is, I'll have them cut out the lactose um, completely by itself and then see what the response is, and then separately have them cut out fructose and see what the response is. So with these food intolerances, um, lactose, there is a treatment using lactate pills, but that doesn't protect or help the patient 100%. So that's why in trying to diagnose it, I have them not use those pills, but have them cut it out of their diet completely, the lactose. And if they get improvement, then they can try using the lactate pills to see if it will help. It just doesn't always help them. Um, for the other food intolerances, it's really not a treatment or a medicine. It's really just cutting it out of their diet. And it varies. Some patients can cut out, uh, just need to cut out a small portion of the lactose and can tolerate like a half a bowl of ice cream or half a glass of milk. But other patients, even like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of milk will cause quite a bit of symptoms. And that's why to help diagnose it, I haven't cut it out 100% because you don't really know where on that spectrum that person lies.